Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much, guys, for allowing me to be part of your day. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I don't care. I'm always hungry. I could eat. We could chat. Guys, over 8,000 of you. Thank you so much. So, so much. So, I think this was the 11th day of the Corey Michelo, um, the trial about Corey. And didn't really understand what the medical expert was talking about. I don't know that he understood what he was talking about. Christopher Greger said he ain't getting on the stand. Some things have come out about Christopher Greger. Some things that I heard, but now have publicly come out. So, you know, Christopher Greger, I heard, you know, that he's peed dirty himself. So him calling Brianna, Corey's mom, a drug addict or trashy when he himself has pissed dirty. Like, come on, man. Like, how do you do that? And Grandpa Gregor, do you not know that your son is pissed dirty? You know, I got that from Cuomo. So he didn't, why do you think he didn't get on the stand because he couldn't he couldn't explain how do you explain what you're doing to your son on that treadmill how do you explain that for people to understand the average person to say hmm oh yes that makes sense how do you explain biting him how do you explain watching him fall over and over again how do you explain leaving the state and putting your phone in airplane mode. How do you explain the searches about could you be found? Could you be tracked? How do you explain that? You can't explain it so you can't get on the stand because you would collapse under cross-examination. I think you'd collapse under your own examination to be honest with you. There isn't anything that would explain I don't think, you know, that people really got the fact that they grasped that Brianna was five years younger than him, that she was 16 when she got pregnant, 17 when she had Corey, and Christopher was so much older. I only heard, I didn't hear it on trial, I, I heard in Justice for Our Boys, that video, that it was non-consensual, and in fact, he R-worded her. So the question to me would be, at some point, the grandfather knew what happened, and he just swept it under the rug, and this is what you get when you just sweep bad behavior under the rug. You get a big-ass mountain under your fucking rug that people trip over, and now look what happened. Are you proud, Grandpa Gregor? Guys, this case makes me sad in so many ways. The lack of compassion this man had. I mean, he couldn't even be with his son when his son was passing away. His son looked in the eyes of strangers. He wouldn't even let the mother be there. How dare he? How? And, and, you know, unfortunately, the nurses had to listen. But you guys do know this, that there were over 100, because I keep seeing this. I wouldn't let Corey go. They they keep I, I, I see this in my comments. I would have kept my kid. No, 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 no. Let's understand something. Brianna followed the system. The system failed her. She did not fail him. She can go to sleep each night knowing she did not fail him. Had she have not followed the rules and she lost complete custody of him and this would have happened, she would have had a lot of guilt. A lot of guilt. Because she would have broke the rules. There is no doubt she's heartbroken. But she shouldn't have any guilt, in my opinion, over this. Because she followed the rules. The system failed her and Corey. She didn't fail them. She didn't fail her son. So st people stop saying, well, I'd just go and take him. Take him and go where? Where do you want somebody to go that, that the authorities aren't going to come in and take the boy back to the dad 
And then you never get to see your son. You can't win. So stop that. Just stop it. Guys, it's the system that needs to be changed. Not that somebody followed it. So please, I, I don't want to see that in the comments anymore. I mean, unless the Michelot family just has money for yachts and boats and uh, airplanes and jets, where was she supposed to go with her son so that the dad would never get involved and the police would never find her? I mean, please think about that before you put comments down. And there wasn't a lot of you, but there were a couple of you. I would have just thought that yes, in anger, you would have just thought that, but would you have really da da da? You know, get mad at the dad. The dad did this shit. Get mad at the grandpa, 27 year, uh, police, uh, state trooper, uh, that now is a consultant because these people know who they raised. You know, the rage in, in Christopher Gregor's face, you know what it looks like? Steroid. It looks like, what they call that? That rage. That's what he, he looks like. He's filled with junk. Uh, and I'm not, of course, these grandparents, they might not have known what happened with Corey. I don't believe, but they knew what their son was capable of because they, they had to have seen his temper. They, they saw a dark side. That alone was enough not to give the kid to him and fucking let him move away. So that's where we need to be upset. And we need to be upset with the system because this woman, Brianna, over a hundred times, over a hundred times, and she wasn't heard because she was a recovering addict. And we got to change that too because he fucking did drugs too. But we... We, we got to change the attitude of recovering addicts. We have to understand that they have a sickness. I don't care if you guys don't look at it. I'm telling you, it's something that I went to school for. I know if you do not work on your sobriety daily, just like if you do not work on your cancer that you're trying to cure daily, it's not going to go into remission. It's going to be active. That is not a reason for a mother to lose a son. And that is not a reason for what happened to have happened. And that doesn't make somebody a bad person. It makes somebody struggling. Unless Brianna is holding up banks, putting people in danger, if she's struggling alone and, and doesn't have her son involved, and she didn't. There is nothing saying that that ever happened. Okay. Her son was safe with her. Do not make something that somebody is struggling with, a disease, an addiction. Don't let that be a reason to let what happened happen and let it be anybody's fault except the person who's responsible, who's Christopher Greger. That's who it is. And by the way, a few of you guys have sent me information about the lawyer, right? Christopher Greger's lawyer. And a lot of you are like, maybe he's being such a D-I-C-K because he really wants Christopher to do time. He's being such a D-I-C-K because he is one. He had his own little custody battle or uh, alimony and, and uh, child support bullshit that he fought because of uh, where the cost of living, the colas, excuse me, cost of living allowances come in. He's got his own battles with his own ex-wife, with his own two kids about how much money he's sending them. So he's kind of not the greatest dad either. So that's just who he is. It's not about that he's trying to get uh, Gregor more time. He ain't trying to help Chris Gregor. He probably in his mind thinks, yeah, okay, that was a bad video. That was a bad video. But he only did it one time and they caught it on tape. That's kind of like this lawyer's attitude. And, you know, ain't nobody buying it. And people really don't like the way he is coming at people. He had amazing patience for this medical expert today. But absolutely doesn't do well with the ladies, does he? Have you been following the trial? Um, did it surprise you that Christopher Greger didn't get on stand? 
What do you think, guys? All right, guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you real soon. Be better today than you were yesterday. Not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Thank you, guys.